What are those three features? Surface area, enormous surface area by the way of the root hairs. The root hairs will allow enormous surface area. So that was the first characteristic we had studied. So here, yeah, by the process of, or for the concept of absorption by roots, this is very, very important for you. I just, again, bring into your notice what you have to learn. So we were talking about surface area and this was made possible because of the enormous root hairs. Then we were talking about the cell wall and the cell membrane. What were some of the properties of the cell wall and the cell membrane we studied, which is also allowing the process of absorption happen, no? Cell wall ke kya properties the? Thin wall made up of cellulose freely permeated. Next is we talk about the cell membrane. Cell membrane take up properties say selectively permeable. Thin wall selectively permeable. And uh, that was majorly allowing the process of diffusion happen. What was the other property that you have to talk about? The hyper Sonic cell So with reference to the root hair cell, if you remember, the other day we had learned that the cell of a root will also be having the vacuole. The vacuole will be having the sap. And when you talk about the sap, compare the sap with the surrounding water, what should be the feature? 
the sap should be or the sap is always found to be extremely concentrated hypertonic when we say hypertonic what is the meaning of that word the sap is having more of iron salt less of water when you are comparing it with the soil water so very simple to understand this property will be applicable in all these concepts that we study now cell sap of a root hair cell of a root cell is always hypertonic always that is what is the main reason which is allowing the constant dragging of the water and the so the solutes the soluble ions and salts constantly enter from the soil into the root hair cell so last class this was something which was important that you have to remember you get questions on this properties of the root hair cell which allow the process of division happen which allow the process of absorption happen after this now we are going to start understanding what are some of the phenomena what are some of the phenomena to come across uh, what are the phenomena that we are going to study we are going to study five phenomena basically in this chapter to understand the entire story of absorption by roots what are some of the phenomena we are going to study first of all we will try to understand imbibition second we will try to understand diffusion third we will try to understand osmosis and the various concepts third we will try to understand the tonicity third we will try to understand tonicity and the fifth part is plasmolysis or what what it is the fifth is five phenomena that we have to come across uh So, uh, did you hear active transport? Active transport. So, let us start with this. First of all, we we'll talk about imbibition. Definition examples. Now, here are the process. You don't have to study as per your syllabus. Just few examples, and the definition is very important for you. Yeah. Let us start. How do we write on the definition of this? What is this actually? What did I tell you the other day? Also, just we started in fact. i say if i talk about a plant cell features just now we discussed another plant cell what is made up of cellulose a type of a sugar and this sugar is hydrophilic now with this properties i say that the moment we talk about a plant cell and we are saying that this plant cell has got the vacuole and uh, the cell wall and the cell membrane both these we try understanding as the boundaries of the cell the plant cell next is what surrounding this plant cell there is a large number of water molecule surrounding this there is a large number of water molecules and so many of them clinging to the cell wall why why are they clinging to the cell wall first of all there is so much of water vapor surrounding this plant cells which type of plant cells are we talking about living or dead both can be living can be dead but the water molecules are clinging to the cell wall only because we had already said that if i talk about the cell wall the properties of the cell wall is that the cell wall is hydrophilic because of this property the water molecules cling and once the water molecule or the cloud of water molecule becomes too much there is an adequate amount of pressure being set up there is an adequate pressure set up what is that pressure called imbibitional pressure imbibitional pressure or imbibitional force now because of this imbibitional force now the water molecule outside the cell wall is too many agar thoda sa water molecule hoga will the water molecule start entering inside no jab water molecule bahut zyada ho jayega when the cloud is too much there's a pressure being set up because of this pressure yes the water molecule have started entering inside 
Are they going here? I told you the other way also. No, because pressure is not so much heavy. Nahi. Individual pressure is not a big pressure that we are talking about for the plant cells. So always to remember, by the way of imbibition, the living or the dead plant cells can absorb water by surface attraction. Cellulose, pichal ki vajay se. By the property of surface attraction, but since the pressure is not a very big pressure, the water will never enter into the vacuole. The water will never become a part of the sap. Then why, where will this water remain? The water will remain in the gap, in the space, between the cell wall and the cell membrane and from there only they will start moving from one cell wall to the other cell wall. So from the space of cell wall and cell membrane they will start moving into the other cell. Are they ever becoming a component of the vehicle? <coughs> Never. Why? Because the divisional pressure is, a, is not a great pressure. The intensity of the pressure is no, it is not a very intense pressure. Where do we get to see this happening? Now, these are examples that you have to remember. Where do you get to see this happening? Very common in our day-to-day -day life, you often come across the seed coats, the dried seeds, you put them in water, they start swelling up. Every day, almost every day, we must have seen something or the other related to this happening in our kitchen, no? Every day, whenever, if, if you have seen your mother soaking some dal or pulses in the water, what's happening? They start swelling. They start absorbing water. Imbibition, that, that, that process is. Other than this, are there any other features? Are there any other examples that we can think of? Wooden door, correct. Abhi, aisa, not that we are talking about, yes, wooden door swelling up. Very, very, very soon we are going to teach a, uh, we are going to sense this. Now that the monsoon is almost approaching, just in a month when there is continuous rainfall and the air becomes saturated with water vapor, we are going to sense this in our homes, in your school, etc., etc. Where door, door and the cupboard uh, flats, which are very comfortable now, you'll get to see that, no, you cannot fit them properly. The door of your shoe rack, or your cupboard quite a number of times, the door, uh, the, the main door, and then the school door, quite a number of times they become tightened. They don't fit properly. Why don't they fit properly now? Because the water vapor in the uh, atmosphere is so much, and this wooden door, which are nothing but dead plant cells. These are dead plant cells, and they have constantly undergone the absorption of water by individual pressure. But uh, is it too big that we understand? Is the, does the, swell, does the uh, uh, door ever swell up that big and it, does it become that remarkable? No, it's not remarkable. Nahi hota hai. Then uh, what would happen if the individual pressure is too big? Kabhi na kabhi aisa hota hai, kabhi the atmospheric uh, atmospheric water vapor is too high, moisture content is too high, and uh, the cells have gathered so much of water, then what? Then that is what we are talking about, then that is what we see in the process of germination of a seed. When individual pressure is quite big, and the cells, the dead parts of the cells, the dead parts of the plant, seed coat, etc., etc. If I say examples, uh, the seed coat, have started absorbing water and the pressure has become bigger, 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 bigger. That is what is responsible for the bursting out of the seed core and the formation of the primule up there and the, the radical down there. So yes, at times, if I talk about smaller parts of the plant, I mean, imbibitional pressure zada, okay, can the door ever burst? No, utna bada pressure kabhi nahi hota. But yes, if I talk about a small seed, Individual pressure is very much responsible for the bursting out of the seed coat and the formation of plumule radical germination. So examples, two, three examples, where you will say that examples are, what are some of the examples of inhibition? Examples are uh, swelling up of the seed coat of there is different type of seed, gram, nuts, etc. 
germination of seed, swelling up of the wooden planks, etc., etc., cover doors, etc., etc. So these are some examples. Imbibition, the process we are not going to study now, that's not there for your syllabus. We talk about diffusion now. Diffusion. What is diffusion? What are some examples try to understand? Now, for diffusion, what is the definition? Try to always remember. Definition, yeah. what is the definition of diffusion? For diffusion, you are always supposed to remember this definition. Uh, movement of molecules of a substance. Movement of molecules of a substance from its region of high concentration. From its region of high concentration to its region of low concentration to its region of low concentration when they are or when the molecules are in direct contact when the molecules are in direct contact pura definition likhna hai so now I say that when we are talking about the definition of diffusion, certain words to take a note. I'm talking about substances. One say substances. Substances, when I talk about diffusion, substances, solute bhi ho sakta hai. I can talk about substances. So you just substances hai. What can be these substances? Huh? It is solute bhi ho sakta hai. Uh, this can be gases also. This can be liquid also. Molecules of substances from a region of its higher concentration to a region of its lower concentration. But when the molecules are in direct contact, they are hai. If that is what is we are sensing or experimenting, then that is diffusion. If molecules are not in direct contact, then it is something else. It is not diffusion. Now let us try understanding examples. Do we get to see diffusion in our homes? Yes. Do we get to see diffusion in our homes? Can we? Perfume. Perfume. Warm can we? All kya? In the same state. Uh, very good example. Uh, perfume, now that I'm talking about perfume, whenever you are spraying, the entire room gets filled with the fragrance. What has happened? Whenever you started spraying, that from that region which was concentrated with those molecules of the perfume and they started moving in between the molecules of the air and they got spread up. So what has happened? Are these molecules moving from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration? Yes. Pura pura room mein the air is filled and the molecules of the perfume started taking their position in between the molecules of the air and pura spread each other. I am burning incense stick in one room of my house, but the other room also I get to, or other members of my house can sense the smell. Because the same thing, when we are talking about the incense stick burning, the molecules of the gases are moving from a region of a concentrated area to a region of low concentration or I say the other way where the molecules are taking their position in between the air molecules. I cook a food in the kitchen. I cook a particular type of a food in the kitchen but now the person sitting in the hall also may sense it. How, how is it possible? You also must have come across many times your mother is cooking food but from the other room also you can get the smell of the food. Diffusion. But how are we saying that the molecules are in direct contact? Yes, the molecules of the gases that are uh, uh, emerging out from the food that we prepare or the incense stick, the molecules of the incense stick, that, that the molecules of the gases of the incense stick burning and the molecules of the air, they are in direct contact. Okay, these are all examples that we are talking about gases. Can we talk about solute? Solute, diffusion, where we see a solute is involved. 
क्या एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं शुगर क्यूब्स इन द वॉटर सो ना मे बी आई टेक अम्बलर ऑफ वॉटर एंड इन दिस टम्बलर ऑफ वॉटर वॉट डिड आई टेक आई टूक सम शुगर क्यूब्स in this region now that i see that initially the moment you drop the sugar cubes or a spoon of salt after dropping immediately the next second i take small amount of water from here and i taste is this sweet no never it will not be sweet immediately even when you add sugar and some drink and then you drink it comes to more and it tastes more sweeter more sweeter if you don't drink the uh, mix it properly no so what i said is i had taken try to understand i took a tumbler water and then i i just drop some cubes of sugar just after dropping i take a spoon of water from here and i taste it is not sweet now but even if i don't mix it well but after something around after 5 minutes when i do the same yes i may sense that now it is little bit sweet why because the sugar cube started melting dissolving in the water and the molecules of this sugar the molecules started spreading themselves between the water molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration they are spreading but if i don't want to wait for 5 minutes but i still want the sweetness tab mujhe kya karna hai mix it mix it stir it stir it stir karna hai then the next minute only perhaps i can understand the sweetness or the saltiness am i talking about the molecules of the sugar and the molecules of the water in direct contact are they in direct contact yes there are no separating membranes or wall in between so what is diffusion we talk about diffusion or process where the molecules of a substance moving from a region of its high to a region of its low concentration but ha yahan pe do tarah ke molecules they should be in direct contact I want to talk about some examples of liquid. क्या हो सकता है liquid? Instead of the sugar cubes, say suppose I now take some uh, drops of some chemical substances in clay. या तो I may take some drops of I put some drops of some uh, chemical substances where I may be talking about uh, potassium permanganate. I talk about potassium permanganate drops I take. or any other type of stain i take liquid but i talk about liquid any type of a stain i take colored dyes colored stains and uh, the moment i put them is the water all taking up that color no the moment i put them the upper region is still colorless and the lower region only has started taking that color whatever color it is purple or red or whatever after some time after some 5 7 minutes i get to see that the base is still darker and the upper region is now lighter but i stir it it may be even what has happened diffusion so now what are we trying to understand with all these three examples diffusion can happen with solids solute diffusion can happen with liquids diffusion can happen with gases but definition will be same rahega process will be same rahega but now after diffusion if i have to talk about osmosis let us now try to understand where the difference will we now be actually talking about osmosis try to find out what the difference is in the definition movement of molecules of मूवमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर क्या तो सॉल्वेंट भी हो सकता है मूवमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम इट्स रीजन ऑफ हाई कंसंट्रेशन टू इट्स रीजन ऑफ लो कंसंट्रेशन थ्रू अ सेमी परमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन सो दैट इज व्हाट इज नेसेसरी नाउ सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू अ सेमी परमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन 
First of all, let us try to understand what is the feature properties of this. Examples kya hai? And now that we try to understand semi-permeable membrane with many experiments, we are going to study this now. Semi-permeable membrane, our feature, the concept that we have studied last year. Usme se agar yaad hai, semi-permeable membrane ya semi-permeable barrier jo hota hai, uske features kya rehte hai? What are the features that you can cite? What will it allow? Or what type of movement will it allow and what type of movement will it not allow? Semi-permeable membrane basically allows the movement of water, solvent, but does not allow the movement of solute. So, ye hamesha yaad rakhna hai. If I talk about a semi-permeable membrane, now that we talk about osmosis, so osmosis mein ye definition, osmosis ke definition mein ye word aana hi chahiye. Whenever you are writing down the definition of osmosis, the word semi-permeable membrane usage of this word is very much needed. You have to complete your definition using this word. But now, when I am talking about this, I should be very clear. This ka matlab kya hai? Selective permeability ya semi-permeability ka matlab ye hai. Whichever membrane you are talking about, it will allow the movement of some but it will not allow the movement of sound again. In contrast, what is the other term? Semi-permeable aid hai, toh other term is what? The contrasting term is what? Synonym. Yeah. Synonym ho gaya. Contrasting I say. Selectively permeable ke opposite terms over ya to freely permeable ya to impermeable. So, the opposite terms I asked you. Opposite terms kya hoga? Freely permeable that you know with reference to the cell wall. So, if I say impermeable, bol ti, then what do you understand? That type of a membrane will not allow any type of movement. Ya to solvent ho, ya to solute ho. So, try to understand when we are talking about semi-permeability, selective permeability, what is the meaning of that? Selective permeability means when you understand that the movement is only for certain molecules and not for certain molecules. Now, with this concept, let us try understanding certain experiments. We try understanding certain experiments. I'll explain you some so far experiments that is there. After that, I'll give you some questions. All of you should be able to answer those questions correctly. What are we learning now is we are learning certain application of osmosis by the way of experiments by the way of certain experiments so the first experiment let us start with is uh, i talk about a beaker this is a beaker this is a thistle funnel and this thistle funnel the mouth of the thistle funnel is been tightened with a semi-permeable membrane. Uh, let me write some examples of semi-permeable membrane that can be a Kaufman's paper or we talk about cellophane, which are common examples given, cellophane or egg membranes, all these. Uh, what is taken in the beaker? What is taken in the beaker? In the beaker, we are, for the first experiment, we are taking water. And what is taken in the crystal funnel? In the crystal funnel, we are taking some sugar solution. This is funnel. We are taking some sugar solution. What are we trying to understand here? That what will be the directional movement? Now, which is the solvent here? Can you tell me which is the solvent here? Solvent comes out of water. Water is the solvent. Now, here in the first experiment, what are we supposed to do? We mark the initial level of the sugar solution in the funnel. Get up from the area. First, such big body and no brain, they are just sitting down and digging there. Now, when we are talking about this thistle funnel, try to understand. Now that this is a simple setup, water some solution, it can be a sugar or a salt solution, we start with a sugar solution, try to understand. 
and the mouth of the fissile funnel closed with the help of a semi permeable membrane ye jo examples maine likha hai these are all examples of semi permeable membrane just now we started about a semi permeable membrane before you wait for a particular period of time what are we supposed to do mark the initial level of the solution mark the initial level of the water in the beaker in such type of experiment every time we we'll have to talk about a condition let us do it this way. we talk about a condition and we will try to understand what the observation is the observation is always going to be different every experiment based on what the condition the observation is going to be different let us try to understand here in this setup wait for a period of some 6 to 8 hours wait for a period of 6 to 8 hours and then we try to understand is there any change yes in this case we try to understand the changes the level of the water in the beaker drops the level of the water in the beaker drops now i am showing you a remarkable drop experimentally it na remarkable drop nahi hota hai the drop is there but little but here for understanding i am showing you that the remark the drop is quite remarkable so abhi ek 6 se 8 ghante ke baad now we observe kya koi change hai and kya hai? what is the change we get to see that uh, after some eight hours there is a drop in the level of the beta so let us mark it as the final level now now we mark it as the final level what about the solution level in the funnel Uh, the solution level in the funnel has increased. The solution level in the funnel has increased. We mark this as the final level. ये कैसे हुआ? What is the explanation? What is the explanation? The reason is that the water has been moving from a region of its high concentration to a region of its low concentration. ये हो रहा था. In this period of six to eight hours. what was the process going on the process was water moving from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration why am i saying that this is a region of low concentration q can you tell me i am saying that yahan pe water zyada hai yahan pe water kam hai q why because If you remember, with reference to the plant cell and the soil water, I told you, I take one ml from here and I take one ml from here. कहाँ पे ज़्यादा water रहेगा? कहाँ पे ज़्यादा water रहेगा? Water of the beaker, water vapor, obviously. If we have not mixed anything, it is just water. And यहाँ पे water कम रहेगा because there will be some solute also. Iron salts, जो भी हमने dissolve किया ना वे आप taken sugar. So volume by volume, when you check, this has the solution. This is a solution, and this is just water. Is this understood? The first experiment. So what is the observation? What are you supposed to write here? What is the observation? The observation is drop in the level of the beaker, rise in the level of the solution of the funnel. Rise in the level of the solution of the funnel. Reason? What? What is the reason? Simple. Water is moving from a region of its high concentration to a region of its low concentration. अभी ये बताओ. Experiment जब हमने start किया था. Whatever was the strength of this solution? After eight hours, this solution became concentrated or dilute? Dilute. So, so much of water has gone in. So the solution became dilute. Of course, the solution in the funnel, the solution in the funnel became dilute. Of course, the level has increased, but not only the level increasing, the solution has become dilute also. I have some question. Is this clear, all of you? Anybody has a doubt here? Because if this is not understood. आगे जो भी मैं बोलने वाली हूँ कुछ नहीं समझ में आया आया कि नहीं समझ में बोल 
किसी को डाउट है लास्ट में आया समझ में ऑल क्लियर नाउ लुक इन टू दिस The second experiment I make a change. I will give you questions. You will answer. Baki sab same rahega. Baki sab same rahega. But I made a change here. Second experiment में मैं हाल में तो change किया। Now you tell me what will the observation be? Think two two minutes. समझो अगर आपने last को सा। What I wrote here? Uh, here I am writing. बाकी सब exactly same रहता है। Now instead of just the solution of unknown strength, I am taking a solution of fifteen percent sugar solution. And now, instead of just water, I am taking five percent sugar solution. अब पहले तो ये खाली समझ लो, what is the meaning of fifteen percent sugar solution? मतलब fifteen percent मतलब fifteen percent मतलब something around roughly eighty five parts water and fifteen parts solute. And now I say five percent मतलब ninety five parts water and five percent sugar. Five parts solute. अब इसमें से तुम ये डिसाइड करो कौन सा डाइल्यूट है कौन सा कंसेंट्रेटेड है। ये मीडियम डाइल्यूट है कि ये मीडियम डाइल्यूट है। पहले ये सोचो। कौन सा डाइल्यूट है? बीकर की फनल। बीकर डाइल्यूट है। वेरी गुड। बीकर डाइल्यूट है क्योंकि यहाँ पर ओनली five parts of solute और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा water, ninety five parts water है। तो ऑब्जर्वेशन क्या होगा जस्ट लाइक द प्रीवियस वाटर इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन इन द सेकेंड एक्सपेरिमेंट जहां पे दोनों जगह हमने सॉल्यूशन लिया है ऑफ अ डेफिनेट स्ट्रेंथ बट स्टिल वी गेट टू सी दैट आफ्टर अ पार्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वॉट इज है सोल्यूशन लेवल इन द फाइनल इज इंक्रीजिंग And the level of the water, जो पहले और the level of the solution, जो पहले इतना था, same here. The level of the solution is dropping. So yes, we mark it as the final level of the solution. Here also, observation would be the same. Here also, the solution is becoming dilute. Level of the solution in the final increasing. Level of the solution in the weaker drop. Now. In the third condition, in the third experiment, I made another change. <clears throat> in the third experiment, uh, instead of the compartment, ये की situation है five percent sugar solution here and fifteen percent here. This is the third condition I am talking about. ये हो गया third condition that I am talking about. Five percent sugar solution यहाँ पे, fifteen percent यहाँ पे. But instead of the compartment, uh, now I take a, a rubber sheet. Acha, rubber sheet ke pehle I take a muslin cloth. Remember the features of muslin cloth. When I talk about muslin cloth as a membrane, I try to take that as a membrane to divide both the solutions. Solution so yaha pe hai and the solution so yaha pe. ये दो को डिवाइड करने के लिए आई एम यूजिंग अ बैरियर एंड अब ये बैरियर मैंने सेलोफेनिया पार्क में नहीं लिया बल्कि आई हैव टेकन अ मसलिन क्लॉथ व्हाट इज मसलिन मसलिन क्लॉथ इज सेम लाइक द फ्रीली परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन्स वेयर द फोर साइड्स ऑफ दिस मेम्ब्रेन और द फोर साइड्स ऑफ दिस क्लॉथ इज क्वाइट बिग एंड व्हिच विल अलाउ द मूवमेंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट एंड सॉल्वेंट बोथ Parkment and cellophane does not allow the movement of solute. Solute, solute can move only in that. But now that I am talking about the muslin cloth, remember it is freely permeable, can allow the movement of solute and solvent both. Now my question is, ये जो setup अभी हमने लिया है, 
after eight hours after eight hours what will be the change in the beaker <coughs> after eight hours what will be the change in the beaker what will be the change in the beaker i have already mentioned muslin cloth ke features kya hai it will allow the movement of the solute and solvent both कहा पे कहा पे वाटर लेवल और सॉल्यूशन लेवल कहां पे ड्रॉप होगा बीकर में ड्रॉप होगा बीकर में ड्रॉप होगा ये प्रॉपर्टी में एम्फेसाइज करना है इस पे एम्फेसाइज करना है फाइनल में ड्रॉप होगा वो कैन एक्सप्लेन दिस क्यों फाइनल में ड्रॉप होगा हाँ Water will move from here to here. Yeah. So answer my question. I said what will happen? No, no. Water will go up. Let's go in the this way. Water will go this way. Yeah. And solute will come this way. Yeah. No. Is there possibly DNA? Then the first thing that is speedy coming there, so the water and the sugar molecule both will come down. Both will come down. I have already said what I have said. You have to emphasize on this. Points to understand this. I'll explain you again. Beaker में मैंने लिया है five percent sugar solution. तो ये dilute medium हुआ. Funnel में मैंने लिया fifteen percent sugar solution. तो वो थोड़ा सा concentrated medium हुआ. But अभी ये वाले experiment में dilute और concentrated ये feature से ज़्यादा important हो गया ये feature. Muslin cloth जो कि freely permeable है. ये तो सॉल्यूट और सॉल्वेंट दोनों का मूवमेंट अलाउ करता है सो द मोमेंट आई रिमूव दैट पाप में जो सेलोफेन है मैं मसलिन लगा देती हूं फटाफट 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 ये ड्रॉप होने लगेगा क्यों बिकॉज़ इररेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द कंसंट्रेशन डिफरेंस इट इज अलाउिंग फ्री मूवमेंट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन एज अ होल सॉल्यूट भी सॉल्वेंट भी आ रहा है समझ में कि नहीं आ रहा है Muslin cloth is freely permeable. याद रखना है बोलो। Man, that sugar level and water level will be same. नहीं यहाँ पे तो sugar level, water level balance कभी होगा ही नहीं क्योंकि ये जो drop है ये rapid drop होगा and यहाँ पे जो increase है ये भी progressively rapid increase होगा। I said irrespective of the concentration differences, this is just allowing the free movement of water and solute both. Why? Because muslin cloth is a freely permeable material so first second third ye tino condition aaya samajh mein now let us talk about the fourth now let us talk about the fourth i talk about the gita then ye ho gaya thistle funnel and thistle funnel mein now i am fixing uh, the rubber sheet Now I am fixing the rubber sheet, and here we have a solution here. Maybe now I choose uh, that the solution here is something around twenty percent sugar solution, and the outer here now I take something around ten percent sugar solution. What will the observation after a particular period of time will be risha it will remain same level of the water level of the solution in the beaker remains the same level of the solution in the funnel q rabashi rabashi ka feature kya hai हमने सेमी परमेबल सीखा 
हमने ब्रीजी परमियोबल सीखा ना वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट इनपरमियोबल नेचर अब ये रबरशीट के जगह और मैं क्या लगा सकती थी टू कंप्लीटली स्टॉप द मूवमेंट ऑफ सॉलिड एंड सॉलिड इन बोथ प्लास्टिक आप रबरशीट भी लगा सकते हैं प्लास्टिक भी लगा सकते हैं व्हिच यू नॉट अलाउ इररेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द कंसंट्रेशन डिफरेंसेस ऑन इदर साइड कंसंट्रेशन डिफरेंस तो है ऑन इदर साइड ऑफ द मेम्ब्रेन कंसंट्रेशन डिफरेंस है बट फिर भी कुछ भी मूवमेंट नहीं हो रहा सो इवन आफ्टर दैट 6 टू 8 आवर्स आई गेट टू सी the level of the beaker or the solution in the beaker is same and solution in the funnel also the same is that you because the rubber sheet is impermeable it is impermeable so ye ho gaya features to understand a basic concept of osmosis then what did we learn in all these experiment we are learning in all these experiments that on either side of the semi permeable membrane when the concentration is different when the concentration is different what will be the direction of movement of water from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration or say the other way kaise bologe from a region of ha from a region of high concentration to low concentration i said say the other way kaise bologe are I said, whenever we are talking about any type, अगर ये rubber नहीं होता, अगर ये cellophane होता, I go back to the first experiment again. What is the summary? The summary is water is moving from a region of high concentration to a low concentration. मतलब water is moving from a region of dilute medium to a region of concentrated medium. Is this clear? Any doubt? Try solving this question. देखो आता है कि नहीं? Try solving this. You may just go through the questions and prepare the answers on your own. I will ask you the answers randomly. Just five minutes to spend. मैं देख रहा हूँ और ये जैसे तो चार्ज भी ना हो ना तो ज़्यादा करो तो ये फिर तू ठीक करेगा बाद में करा होगा तो दिख रहा है कि नहीं दिख रहा है अभी दिख रहा है अभी हाँ देखो हो गया अच्छा तो ना तो देख रहा हूँ नो नो टेन टेन मिनट्स तो नहीं जी अंदर नहीं कंट्री कंट्री आगे रोंग टाइम आता है इन द वॉशिंग डे दिख रहा है क्या सामने आ जाओ सामने आ जाओ स्पेक्स स्पेक्स भी नहीं दिख रहा है हाँ चलो जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स Later, I'm going to ask you to solve the questions from the text. Also, but this is just on what we discuss right now. If it's not clear, tell me. Ah, the first question is. Yes, ma'am. Diagram is the beaker is there. Same concept that we studied. Pigment membrane here. Ah, beaker me water here. Funnel me solution. Ah, the first concept. Ah, the first concept. Now read the question. What है हाँ पार्कमेंट है सेमी परमिएबल What happens to the level of the water in the beaker after the experimental period of time? Write properly. I want you to write it properly in one one sentence. कोई description नहीं लिखना है. Make it a habit ना. What happens to the level of the water in the beaker 
the level of the water in the beaker slightly decreases slightly drops or drops slightly the level of the water in the beaker drops slightly <clears throat> what happens to the level of the liquid or solution in the funnel it slightly increases slightly increases what is the reason for the observation one 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 at a time what is semi permeable pack mint pack mint is a semi permeable so it allows the movement of uh, solvent ha so reason ye likhoge the pack mint paper used is semi permeable hence it allows the movement of water from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration dilute to concentrated medium the movement always will happen so in your answer for this you have to take the reference of the parchment and then write because the movement always is also dependent on what membrane you choose not only the concentration difference Uh, will there be any change in the taste of the water of no, the beaker no. after the experimental period of time? No. 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 Why? Um, because no. most of the people are very near. Never mind. Never mind. Does, Semi, not does not allow the movement of solute. The semi-permeable membrane. Is me. Ye likhna hai. Kabi kabar is me. Ye bhi rehta hai. Give reason. Semi-permeable membrane does not allow the movement of solute, but only allows the movement of solvent molecules. how can you justify that the parchment is selectively permeable so for the same thing the water does not taste sweet the water will never taste sweet so which shows that the solute molecule is never moving only the solvent molecule moves next is Now you have another option here. Another probability is something saying like this. What are we taking? Is we are taking a bag-like structure. Okay, we are taking a bag-like structure here. The other. set up is something like this in this case we are using a capillary tube we take a capillary tube and then in the capillary tube we get to see that there is a particular solution filled up so we take this as the initial level this is the whisking bag this is the whisking bag and here we are taking water in the beaker In the earlier setup, we had been using the fissile funnel and the membrane, changing the membrane from time to time. Here, we are not taking any such membrane, but we are only taking a capillary tube. In the bag, there is a particular type of a solution. We insert the capillary tube and cast it, cast it here. Wait for a particular period of time. After a particular period of time, what do we get to see is? after a particular period of time we get to see that the level of the solution here the level of the solution whatever the strength is we are not mentioning the strength now whatever the solution is after a particular period of time the level of the solution increases here the level of the solution is increasing what are the reasons the level of the solution is increasing the first reason must be that this bag must be allowing the movement of the water molecule the bag must be having a thin membrane which must be allowing the movement of the water molecule and since the amount of the solution is becoming more here 
that is what we get to see rising up in the capillary tube. Then what can we conclude? What should be the nature of this disking bag? Semi-permeable. Semi the nature of the disking bag is also semi-permeable. With this reference, again we understand that yes, whether we are talking about the disking bag or we are talking about the cellophane or we are talking about the compartments or we are talking about the egg membranes, all of them are semi-permeable. Now, with reference to some other type of plant cells, animal cells, we can uh, try experimenting with various right? different types of plant parts, plant cells, animal cells. Here we learn two definitions. One is I talk about a plant cell and the plant cell having a vacuole. This plant cell, when placed in a particular type of a solution, okay, I'm just talking about a particular type of a solution surrounding this plant cell. At one time, at one particular instance, I get to see that this plant cell, when placed in a particular solution, we are not talking about any strength of the solution right now. At one time, what happens? This plant cell remains as it is after a particular period of uh, some eight to 10 hours. We have taken the plant cell, kept it in a solution, but even then, we try to see that even after keeping it for a particular period of some 8 to 10 hours, no, the plant cell does not show any change. The plant cell does not show any change. But at times, we get to see that the plant cell has started showing shrinkage. In another condition, Again, another type of a plant cell kept in a solution, we get to see that the plant cell has started showing shrinkage. Again, in the third, we'll complete this in the next class. In the third condition, we saw that yes, the plant cell has started uh, showing some changes, something like this. The plant cell started almost bloating up. So in the next class, we are going to learn that under three different conditions, three different solutions, the plant cell, plant parts would behave differently. We'll continue again in the next class. I said reason, how can you justify that parkment is selectively permeable? Because even after the experimental period of time, the water in the beaker does not taste sweet. That indicates that parkment allows only the movement of water, no solute movement will ever take place. Okay. We have got one more lecture now.